Um, yeah, I am Batu. I work at App42. Um, sorry for coming up again, another cloud native, you know, like <laughs> terminology. Um, so our problem was basically when you have, uh, we, are, we, are, we are a platform where you can buy uh, satellite imagery from different providers. And if you get one imagery on your storage, uh, one uh, delivery on your storage, you end up with many multiple different uh, shapes of uh, metadata and also the files. Sometimes they have like they have uh, PNG files, TIFF files, NTF files, TEX files, and um, sometimes they deliver in a format that uh, you really need to uh, analyze well what's going on with these shapes and uh, formats, and also for the metadata. There are some. There are some even people uh, putting their logo <laughs> in the delivery. So it's too much information usually. So uh, we use Stack uh, as a. It's a, it's a very nice solution just to tidy up things. Uh, and uh, basically, we we started to use Stack for our storage. So if you go to the storage and maintain this uh, complexity. Um, Stack is already tidying up many things for you uh, and the developers. But the, our problems, again, then there are like many ways of doing Stack because Stack does not dictate you how you should combine collections, catalogs, and items. Uh, there are very nice, uh, I think, definition of item, uh, which is more like atomic unit. Um, it's a single location, single date time. But if you want to combine, you know, how we should do collections and items, and how we should uh, name asset keys and properties, etc., you again end up with uh, multiple questions. How we should do for maintaining a storage sanely, and that was our basically main uh, model. Uh, that whenever you have an asset. Offer to the asset we call, but you can have another asset, just one asset that you uh, have on your storage. You transfer it to your storage, and we uh, we made it uh, equal to a stack collection, because sometimes you have stereo imagery or multiple uh, imagery from different part of the earth. They can actually relate to different location, different date time. So it was a wise idea to have a one stack collection to define one asset delivery, and uh, one catalog for your auto storage and items uh, for uh, your like different imagery parts, and many, many other different stack assets. So it's, it's looking like this, actually. Uh, mostly, uh, I'm skipping the properties. Uh, properties are almost standard uh, in stack, or uh, um, the assets are usually very different, depending on the provider. Uh, we basically you know, uh, follow the best practices in Stack. Uh, they are pretty, pretty useful. And most of the times, whenever we have a question, you just like check the specification and best practices, and you find the answer. Uh, and uh, what what we do is like we add some sane information also for people who are using it. Like we facilitate roles more. Uh, we try to standardize how we make the titles, and we try to also convert every TIFF or every imagery formats to the cloud native assets so that uh, in the uh, later stage you can use it very easily. Uh, and this got quite standard, I think, and it's uh, getting useful. What which, which is useful is that it's very useful for front-end. Uh, front-end people are very happy with this because um, they have now reliable metadata where they can get information and easily display uh, on uh, the map and for different um, for different providers, it is standard. They don't have to deal with all the complexity. They just use this model. And what is also like very useful that if you want to process this complexity, uh, depending on all providers have a different shape, and if you come up with an algorithm, you have to add up for all providers. But in this case, uh, it is also getting much, much easy to process all different type of data, and um, it got like it's very getting useful in the processing platform. That's it. And